Morning everybody, Roland Barbecue Smoke Pros, Brazelton, Georgia. We're just going over this fire and steel model. People have been texting me saying it looks like a uh, a rat hot rod or a rat hog. We're trying to give it that older look. This barrel from the tag was from 1948. These older barrels, I don't know if you can see the thickness here, are much thicker than the new barrels. So when you're shopping, see they can give you the name tag, the uh, not name tag, the date tag. Pretty much every propane tank has a date tag. And this is an older model, which gives you also that Back then they used to paint it with that greenish blue paint. Turns into like a green. So I guess you could call this a rot hog barbecue pit, a rat pit. We try to keep as much as the old look as possible, but give you the new, obviously 3,500 pound axles, new tires. This one doesn't have a stinger, doesn't need it. The frame is super heavy duty, as you can see. The chimney goes all the way up, gives you great draft, great airflow. The fenders are handmade. Bent on the edges, so no sharp edges. Bent down, super strong. This is a beast, this one. I mean, this is just a strong beach, beast. Has its own chimney on the rib box, or everything box. So the heat comes through that vent from the smoker. Well, heat comes from the fire box up, but heat and smoke comes from the smoker. Goes out that chimney vent. This has three adjustable vents we did the split door people ask me why I do a lot of split doors not double doors and the answer is whole hogs if you have that piece of metal right down through here then how are you gonna get that hog in and out it's it's gonna be a pain so we do split doors um, you can see we cut them real tight and smooth with the plasma cutter almost i mean it's about the same as an angle cutter but this way you can put a whole hog in here pull it in and out the top shelf pulls out we don't have a handle on top because you're going to grab it from the bottom then you have three pull outs on the bottom here. So we give you all that space right into the smoke collector. There. There's no reverse plate against this is a Texas offset. And so that's the reason why we do a lot of, I call them split doors, not double doors. Um, the double door is just really a pain to do whole hogs huge smoke collector in the front I found that the bigger the smoke collector within reason obviously will balance out the heat flow so you're almost running even throughout obviously this is going to be hotter no matter what I mean you have a fire here so this will always be hotter but that smoke collector really evens it out very well then you got your paper towel flag holder so if you're looking for a real custom rot pit we have a couple of different barrels i have a blue one here that we're waiting for an order i'm getting another whitish oldish looking one or if you have your own barrel you can bring it to us okay let me see if i can show you the tag here this is the tag this is 1958 right there 
this tag is really um, gone can't even tell you those those are the ID tags and those will give you the years we try to get all the ones if possible we really do our best to get 70 and older so give us a call holler text 770-866-2561 and let us build you a rat barbecue smoker we can do a Texas style or reverse plate we're looking at doing a double 500 gallon double axle one 500 will be Texas, one 500 will be reverse plate. It's going to be total beast. Barbecue on.